If you want it's Emily Fox. Today's video is going to be my current favorites slash fall favorites. I haven't done one of these videos in forever, so I do have quite a few products to talk about. Uh, makeup, skincare, lifestyle bits, in that order. Uh, I recently did actually a fall lipstick favorite, so if you are trying to find a new one, I definitely recommend checking out the video because I apply all of them on my lips. Uh, but you shout out to the newest colors of the Maybelline lip pencil, lip crayon lip crayons and they're amazing especially settle for more and then this one which is uh accepted there they look amazing the form is amazing too they last so well on the lips i actually did a video back in the day it's probably like a year ago <laughs> against the liquid lipstick and they wear a similar amount of time which is crazy but they're very comfortable on the lips and they do survive a mask if you want to wear lipstick under your mask so definitely recommend these colors especially i get a bunch of compliments whenever i wear them mostly on camera <laughs> but yes definitely recommend these my skin has been freaking out a little bit because of mask let's be real so i've been wanting to wear foundation to cover some of the acne but i don't want it to make it worse you know with the mask and everything i don't want it to smear everywhere so i have been loving the maybelline super stay foundation i love this one i've been mixing these two colors 120 which is my summer shade and then 102 that is a bit too light but together it's the perfect shade this is amazing because first off it can be full coverage wherever you need it it doesn't transfer everywhere it doesn't overly emphasize uh, my dehydration which is so hard to find something that works for combination skin yet dehydrated and i can easily share it out wherever i don't need the coverage so it's super comfortable uh, on my skin all day long i don't have to reapply powder 20 times a day so definitely something I do recommend I adore this I've been loving this for a while but I've just been playing with it all over again I am a huge blush person so obviously I have a few to mention the first one is the one I'm currently wearing and it is by Burt's Bees which I feel like they don't get enough love they are so beautiful so this is definitely my favorite one this is the color bare peach and again it's the one I'm wearing I never know if I applied too much or not enough for camera <laughs> But I just really like it. It wears really nicely, actually. Let me swatch it. It's a really nice, soft peach color. I do like the little pattern, the honey comb pattern in there. I also really like the other one that I have, which is Toasted Cinnamon. This one is definitely more like a yellowy brown, which looks gorgeous when I have a tan, which I don't have anymore. <laughs> but sometimes I just mix both of them to make it a bit more neutral, and it's just gorgeous. They last all day. They're matte. It's Burt's Bees. Definitely do recommend checking out these two. And then every fall... I can't help but go back to a trusty but goodie by Wet n Wild. This is the color Mellow Wine. This blush is ridiculously pigmented, so I definitely have to use a very light hand, but it looks so pretty with these shades that I was mentioning by Maybelline. It's just like that I've been in the snow outside kind of look, which obviously it's not snowing yet, thankfully, but it's such a natural kind of reddish flush. Uh, it's still kind of cold, actually. Like, it's raining right now, and it's about 5 degrees Celsius, so... It's not far off. So yes, if you're looking for a really affordable blush and you want to experiment with these type of like reddish color, definitely one of my favorites. Let's talk about eyeshadows. Uh, I feel like I have been uh, wanting to wear more eyeshadows because of the mask. But with the bangs, I find that it's sometimes a little difficult. I wanted to mention the newest eyeshadow palette from Colourpop that I've tried. This is the Coast to Coral. And it's a gorgeous coral palette. I'm currently wearing the two lightest shades, Atoll and Crush. Obviously the gold one all over the lid and then the other one in my crease just to define it a little bit more. I have been just loving gold, which is so weird for me. You look back a few years ago and I was scared of gold. I was just like a taupe person, but I'm wearing a ton of glitter <laughs> from the Urban Decay Heavy Metal uh, Gold Glitter in this lightest shade all over my lid. And I just think it's really pretty and fun and matches, you know, the rest of the fall look. So definitely recommend Colourpop eyeshadows in general, but this one, I've been playing with it. Obviously the more cool shades too, definitely this great burnt orange shade gorgeous uh, for the fall, but yes, definitely wanted to give it a thumbs up. Same thing with glitter. I feel like I forget glitter exists for a few months every year, and then when I rediscover it, I'm like, why, why did I ever stop? So definitely recommend glitter in general. Another product I've rediscovered, I feel like I've been playing with my collection a bit more, kind of just going back to older favorites to see if I still like them, and Glossier, the brow gel, which I forgot to bring, definitely a thumbs up for that too. Haloscope uh, Do Effect Highlighter in color Quartz, which is, once again, the one I'm wearing. This is just a natural, kind of glowy, dewy look. It looks like your skin is just naturally healthy, which, again, I've been more and more dehydrated, happens every year with the fall, 
and I feel like this has been uh, making my skin looks better even though some days it just doesn't look that great. Definitely recommend uh, checking out the Glossier highlighter if you still haven't. It just looks so natural. I feel like 90% of the time I want my highlighter to look super glowy, natural, not glittery and this is just perfect. I've mentioning how my skin has been going through some ups and downs. I feel like wearing a mask covers the acne, but it also gives me acne. <laughs> and I feel like I've been more dehydrated. And one thing that has been helping me a ton is this product by I'm From. This is my favorite by them so far, and it is their rice toner. And you can tell I have been using a ton of it. And my skin is so picky. I am dehydrated, but I'm also combination. So I get oily in my T-zone and again, the bangs and then the mask, it gets a lot. And I feel like I just get congested and this just hydrates me quite a bit without being too much for my skin. It's very soothing, obviously rice, and uh, it's just a little thicker than the very watery ones that I tend to use during the summer. So it's been very satisfying to use right now. I'm hoping it's gonna last me a little while. Uh, I would definitely repurchase this. I've just been really enjoying it. Actually, shout out to their serum, the Jensen one. Uh, it's the one I'm currently using and it's great too. I feel like I need to just do a skincare routine because I want to give a shout out also to this cleanser by La Neige. This is their cream skin line. I used up a full bottle of their, um, I think they're calling it a serum, but I feel like it's more of a toner. Loved it. So obviously when I saw that they came out with this uh, milk oil cleanser, I had to try it and it's amazing. I feel like cleansers can be kind of tricky to find. They're either too thick, I feel like they just don't uh, cleanse my skin properly or they're too stripping and this has been just the perfect balance. So definitely loving this one. And actually I forgot to grab it, but shout out also to the uh, By Wish Trend 5% uh, Mandelic Acid. I feel like AHA works better for my skin than BHA and this is super gentle. So obviously because it's dehydrated and then acne, the mask and everything, uh, I feel like my skin has been very sensitive, so it's very easy to overdo it and irritate it. But this is super gentle, mandelic acid, so I've been using it once or twice a week, and I definitely feel like it helps with the uh, clogging of my pores, but also dead skin, so definitely uh, recommend that one if you are on the market for a new one. Oh, also quick shout out to this lash serum. I have never used a lash serum, like ever, and uh, I tried this one because it's really affordable. It is by Etude to House, this is my lash serum, and I have been really enjoying it. I feel like I should have taken like a before after picture, but uh, I thought it would become a little annoying to apply this every night, but I've just been doing it without thinking about it. And I feel like I'm noticing a difference. I don't really want to use false lashes because one, I've been kind of lazy slash my bangs. They're like in my eyes all the time because I always forget to cut them. Uh, but I feel like this has made a difference. I feel like my lashes are looking really long. Like I don't feel the need to apply false lashes, which Hopefully you can kind of see my lashes are really straight naturally and I hate curling them But I feel like they are still looking pretty long uh, because of this so it also has so many great uh, positive reviews online So definitely something that isn't just working for me But definitely check it out if you are in the market for an affordable one because I feel like a lot of them are really expensive uh, Quick shout out to a dry shampoo. My hair is ridiculously long at this point. Uh, I'm way overdue for a haircut, but I don't want to get it <laughs> cut during the pandemic. So I've been waiting and I have been using a ton of really moisturizing products to keep the hands healthy. And uh, I need a bit of help with the roots to just give me a little bit of life because of the weight. So I've been using the Marc Antony Clear Dry Shampoo because first off, it's clear. Second of all, it gives me just a little bit of life and texture without uh, building up too much because I wash my hair every three days and I don't want it to be like gross and sticky. So this has been working really well for me on a daily basis. Every fall, I need to give a shout out to this scent, the scent Autumn uh, by Bath & Body Work because everyone raves about leaves and I feel like I have like a personal vendetta <laughs> against it. I don't hate the scent, it's just super strong and unless it's in a big room, it just gives me a headache. So this for me is the best fall scent ever. It just smells like a fresh walk outside with an apple, you know? It's just perfect. Also, obviously, shout out to the uh, sexy men eating apple. <laughs> what is it called? Like ma mahogany apple? A great one too. But yes, I personally just recently changed a bulb uh, in the plug that I have in the wall and it smells so good. So yeah, I had to mention it. I haven't been doing a lot of shopping for clothes and everything, but I went back into my wardrobe too to try and find things that made me happy. And 
these booties by Zara are definitely still it for me. Snake print, uh, it matches with everything, obviously. And I'm not big on prints, I feel like, for fall. So I feel like it just makes my uh, outfit always a bit more interesting. They're super comfortable too. I don't know if they're still available. I'll try to link them. Otherwise, you can probably find similar ones. Uh, I'll try to link some down below also. But yes, definitely a big fan of booties. I do try to always include some favorite books at the moment in my favorites. I will link down below. I do have a book channel called Books with Emily Fox. So I did recently do a top five books that I've read during quarantine if you want to see more. But uh, since that video, I have discovered a new favorites, which such a good book, uh, The Midnight Library by Matt Haig. The topic is very serious. It's about mental illness, depression, and suicide. So definitely trigger warning for anyone. But the author has been struggling with these things his whole life, so he does tend to talk about it in his books. It's actually my third book by him, and it recently came out, and you're following this woman who is suicidal and has been dealing with depression, and she ends up in between life and death, and she goes to this midnight library. And she gets to try different lives if she had uh, made different decisions, different uh, choices. And she gets to see if her regrets are basically for nothing kind of thing, because sometimes you wish... Uh, something would happen to you, but when it does, it's actually not really what you want. So she gets to kind of test out a few different lives and see uh, if maybe uh, she was trying to live her life for other people and everything. And it's such a good book. I ended up reading it in 24 hours, which I have not done that in forever. Definitely don't do my mistake. I started it late at night and I didn't go to bed until way too late and then had to finish it the next night because I just wanted to know how it ended and it was really really good. Definitely something I would recommend you check out. And you know what? If you're looking for something a little bit more uh, cheerful, I would recommend The Invisible Life of Ed Zilleru, which is still an emotional book, but I feel like at the moment I'm feeling like that. I feel like it's nice to see other people go through things, <laughs> reading about it basically. Uh, but in this one, which did make my top five in the video I mentioned, you're following this woman, Edzi Lahu, and she makes a deal with the devil. And over 300 years, it's kind of their love story, but it's not really a romance. I just want to put it out there because I'm not a big romance person, but uh, it tricks her basically when she wants to be free to avoid a wedding that she's not interested in. And he gives her freedom, She's be she becomes immortal, but uh, nobody remembers her. So you see her struggling through this during the 300 years and it's definitely worth the read. The writing's beautiful. Definitely one of my favorite books of the year. So that's gonna be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thumbs up, subscribe. Let me in the comment section your current fall favorites because I want to know. I will be putting more videos on the screen that I recommend you check out and I will see you in my next one very soon. Bye.